Well, what do you know? Grease Monkey Radio back at it again. That way you can see. I think you can anyways. Maybe I'll flip it over if I can. Huh. Guess that's not an option no more, huh? Okay, anyways. It's Wednesday, December the 6th. Approximately 44 degrees outside. I ain't believing that for a second. It's only about 32, 33, something like that. It's 44 in the cat house, though. Okay. Got to get this back on here. That way it don't go nowhere. We are operating on 12.5 volts. I've got this thing plugged in. See if I got you centered. Let's go down a little bit. All right, what we're working on here today, as you can see, the cat house, right there, right there, somewhere around in there. That's gray, and baby cake's been staying in there. She'll go in there first, and gray will come in and protect her. But it's right there on the deck, which is about two and a half feet off the ground, and it gets very, very cold in there. So they don't want to stay in there right now. Tonight's going down about 31 degrees Fahrenheit here in Ohio, north central Ohio. So that piece of cardboard you see right there is going to mount a small heater. We'll see how that works. I don't know how that's going to work yet, but we're going to try. But anyways, here we go again with some, some wild, hairy project. I'm hoping nothing in the background. You know, doesn't give my personal identification, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, we got CB Channel 19 running in the background. Got some trucks on there. A whole lot of ground noise. Radio's nice and warm. We'll turn the fan on, cooling off a little bit. I got my favorite cup. Yeah, that's what my wife thinks about men. But anyway, she loves me. And I hadn't had any rose petals to figure that out yet. But she loves me. All right, we got this cut. We got it cut. Going deep into the rabbit hole. <laughs> 26 inches. Got 13 inches, shy of 13 inches. Because it's, it's about 13 inches inside diameter, so. I don't know if you can hear me over that uh, heater. Okay, Let's see if we can figure this out. Yeah. Jason Sandburn. I don't know if you guys, uh, Jason Sanborn, I guess. Drowned coffee. Special roast. It lasted about three days. Okay. And that came from Save a Lot, which I don't know if you guys know any Save a Lots in your area. But I used to get a lot of stuff at Save a Lot, man. That was the first place I found no salt added vegetables in a can. Green beans and peas and carrots. No salt added, man. That was pretty that was pretty cool. But we don't have a save a lot here anymore. I think I think they've all moved out. There might be one out west of town. I don't know if it's still there because we don't go out that way. That's up by the high school. We don't go out by that way. <coughs> we usually take the back route. And uh, go up through uh, what they call Little Kentucky. We usually go up through there. And uh, that's how we usually get the Sam's Club and all them out there off of uh, Lexington Spring Mill. That'll give you an idea. Okay. This is a, it's a pipe tape. Yeah. The tape, I'm not worried about the tape. 
I'm worried about this. Now it says you got to test it. You're supposed to test it now. You plug it in. You know, with this short cord here, you plug it in. And you push on this little ball right here, see? And that pushes that down on there and connects the circuit. Okay, now when that gets cold, that's supposed to close. At about approximately 30 degrees Fahrenheit, that should close. Now, I don't know when this thing was bought. 1950, maybe? I don't know. I got the paperwork on it. I'll have to look a little closer. Maybe it was 1940. Use on pipes only and comply with instructions. There's that word comply again. Automatic electric pipe heating tape by Smith Gates. Smith Gates. Wow. You can operate on 120 or 240 volts. Continued. Page 574, Appendix 84. Is that the National Electrical Code? I don't think so. Fiberglass. Optional pilot lamp on some models. That doesn't have it. Smith Gates Corporation, Farmington, Connecticut. No date. Ain't that something? Okay, no date. Isn't that special, huh? Probably gonna not run this all the way through here because this is gonna take a long time. I don't know. So I'm gonna have to figure this thing to do that. Just have to put the board like this. And then down. Thank you. 
there for him when he lives. That's going to be a lot of it. Okay, so we're going to pause this so I don't make this video too long. Or maybe quick fast forward. pause it because I have not had no luck with these galaxy phones they always shut off around 14 minutes so I'm gonna pause it all right for an FYI this is just an experiment I actually have some material out in my shed there that would make this a lot better safer but they're not gonna come in contact with the element anyways there's there's gonna be towels and blankets all that kind of stuff you know that they lay on so and it won't be able to dig it up because I'm going to have a some kind of a zip case or something. I'll figure something out. But just uh, just an FYI, it's an experiment for right now. Until we figure out how we're going to make the real thing. All right. All right. That's what it looks like. thermostat right here you can see it is strapped on itself see how it comes up here you see the wire runs there see that so it comes out here down on the thermostat side looks like that Hoping that's the way it's got to be. Come on, well, come on now, it's, it's not touching. Tiger's checking out the house. I mean, think this will be okay. this button.
I wind my cords. I'd almost fire somebody if they wrapped them around their arms. I might get some comments over that one, but that's okay. I don't care. If I don't own the cords, then I don't have no business telling nobody nothing. But if I own the cords, yeah, I got several 100 footers, 12 gauge, 14 gauge, 16 gauge. I'd be especially upset if they wound up my 12 gauges in that manner. Yeah. Okay. I think that's going to be good. Well, we'll see what we can do to wrap it up, protect it, stick it in there, and we'll test it out and see how it works. And then, uh, then maybe later I'll go ahead and get some other kind of material to put it on and refix it, you know. I was thinking the cardboard because you can roll it, but then I already got these bends in here. I don't want them to be too too sharp on the cord, but when they warm up, they'll, they'll soften up and they'll kind of like form into place, so that's not a problem. But what I was worried about is if I start folding this cardboard, man, how are you going to, you don't want to fold that, see? Uh, that'd, that'd be bad to put folds in here and then try to slip it through the hole. So I cut the box, as you can see, I cut it. So that way this would just slide right in there. So. So once it's covered, it ain't going to be no problem. All right, man. Until the next time, this is Grease Monkey Radio, and we're signing out. Bye-bye.